there's a little bit of science like that with Qigong and, and cancer um, from a while back. And obviously, we need more to help explain to, you know, the modern part of us how this works. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really fascinating stuff. Yeah. So this understanding can help us and inspire us. And so the practice is really make it possible. So uh, understanding why it's possible, that is a big step already. And, um, but how to do that effectively? come back to you know working through these challenges and you know when you are disconnect with your body when you are lost in your story your diagnosis when you are emotionally overwhelmed with fear anxiety and so on and then these things continuously yeah affecting your energy conditioning your energy reprogramming your energy so Imagine that's happening 24 seven. Naturally, your body breaking apart. And um, so to recover from that old pattern, transforming these old pattern is not an overnight job, but we have the map, we have the process, we have, you know, the support of a community working together. And we've been talking about, you know, the power of the retreat, especially being together in person and so on. But that similar power we can tap into slow online program, for example. You know, even this moment, if you connect in with your body and you may feel the energetic um, um, experience inside of you. My, our words, yeah, the way we're sharing is also affecting your energy directly, whether you are, you know, even you're not in person with us. So similar thing happened when we come together online community, you know, sharing the teaching together, practicing together and sharing deeply our personal experience addressing the question and so on, that support it becomes so experiential, so essential and helping people to move through these challenges and continuously discover what is possible. So it's not just saying, it's not just saying, oh, everything's possible, but how to make it possible. So I see Qigong is like a um, energetic science creating a condition so the impossible become possible and you're experiencing it. Every time you do practice, you feel better. You feel different. You feel more empowered. And that accumulative experience continuously reprogramming your mind as well, your heart, as well, your entire cellular body to increase its functionality, its confidence, its connection with the energy, with the power of life, with this creative flow, continued flow of life. Ming Tong, does, does a Qigong practice have to be challenging for it to be beneficial to you? Very good question. So it's not about the Qigong practice has to be challenging, but it's more about as human being, you carry challenge in the body. That's being accumulatively, you know, as energy imprints, for example, stress, yeah, and trauma, and emotional fear, anxiety, suppressed angers, and even deep pain in the physical body, emotional body, even mental, spiritual body. So these challenge is there. You have to embracing that truth. You have to work with that truth. So how to work with that? There's different approaches. So some approach is more like straight, we talk about addressing the challenges right on, head to head. So experiencing pain, the difficulty, the emotion, and you move in slow that, then you discover different experience. Yeah, the power, the bliss, the aliveness, the creativity, the healing, even total recovery and so on. Yeah. But on the other hand, there's another approach, more gentle approach. You meditate, you rest, you're receiving a healing session, you're visualizing the energy, the most loving, most beautiful, most energizing way. You can do that by lying down or sitting or walking and you can make in the sound, you, you know, whether strong sound or gentle sound, you can tap the energy, the gentle side of energy. Yeah. And so that's also important. So we're learning to dance with both. When is like male approach, addressing the challenge directly. Another is like female approach, gentle, soft, compassionate, loving. Yeah. Soft, gentle. Yeah. It's like, so combination of these two 
is creating the magic. And so that's really important to understand. But on the other hand, what I'm saying is that you're doing these two different approach, not trying to avoid the challenge. You consciously working with the challenge, which is inevitable. It's there already in life. So the two approach, whether direct intense way or gentle soft way, the two approach allow you working with the challenge instead of avoiding the challenge, fighting the challenge. So that is a way of looking at it. Good question. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media and to listen to the full podcast, visit nathancrane.com.